As the camera industry continues to evolve, enthusiasts and professionals alike eagerly await the latest leaks and rumors. In this roundup, we delve into the exciting developments from June 2024. From cutting edge sensors to innovative features, let's discover what's on the horizon for photography gear. Unconfirmed reports suggest that Nikon might be developing a new surprise for photography enthusiasts, a mirrorless camera with a rangefinder design, provisionally dubbed the ZS. This sleek full-frame device aims to blend Nikon's storied rangefinder legacy with cutting-edge mirrorless innovations. Should these whispers prove accurate, the ZS could emerge as the hidden treasure that many shutterbugs have longed for. In 2018, Nikon took a significant leap in the imaging world by launching the Z6 and Z7, its pioneering mirrorless models. This strategic shift resulted in a surge of interest in their Z-series lineup. Nonetheless, Nikon has traditionally favored heftier camera bodies, mirroring their DSLR range. The speculative ZS, on the other hand, represents a potential shift, offering a more diminutive full-frame option that eschews the traditional grip for a more refined rangefinder style, reminiscent of Nikon's revered film cameras, such as the S2. Recent leaks hint at a patent for a compact, boxy frame featuring the prominent Z-mount. Fitting the large Z-mount onto a smaller rangefinder chassis is a technical hurdle, given its size exceeds that of classic 35mm film camera mounts. There's buzz that Nikon might integrate a hybrid viewfinder, combining optical and electronic elements to maintain the authentic rangefinder feel. Such an innovative viewfinder could give the ZS an advantage over other contemporary rangefinder-inspired models like the Fujifilm X100 series. Photography purists have been vocal about their desire for Nikon to revitalize the cherished rangefinder design while preserving its core appeal. The ZS could be the answer, striking a harmonious balance between tradition and modernity. More than just its looks, the ZS could distinguish itself within Nikon's mirrorless array. Its petite stature may make it an ideal companion for street and travel photography, catering to those who prize subtlety and simplicity. Following the ZFC's success, which highlighted a market craving for Nikon's aesthetically pleasing cameras, the ZS seems set to win over fans of vintage styling. Coupled with the versatility of a full-frame sensor and the compatibility with Z-mount lenses, the ZS might lure a specialized segment of the market that values high-end craftsmanship. Yet Nikon must navigate the ZS's introduction carefully to prevent it from undercutting the sales of its mainstream Z5 and Z7 units. Marketing it as a luxury item tailored for still imagery could be a viable approach to differentiate it. Incorporating features like integrated ND filters and exceptional resolution could position the ZS as a go-to choice for landscape and studio work. Regarding video functionality, the ZS might borrow some high-end traits from the flagship Z9, such as 8K recording and support for sophisticated codecs like ProRes RAW. Nonetheless, it probably won't rival the Z9's performance in terms of speed and autofocus, which are optimized for capturing fast action. Pricing for the ZS remains speculative, but its upscale build and design imply it might be priced starting around $3,500, with deluxe editions potentially exceeding $4,000. While not a casual acquisition, its cost aligns with that of other specialty cameras. Ultimately, the persistent speculation about the Nikon ZS highlights the photography community's deep-seated fondness for elegantly crafted equipment. Nikon's optics have consistently garnered acclaim, though their camera bodies haven't always captured the charm and character of classic rangefinders. For some photographers, the ZS's compact elegance could signify the long-awaited revival of the rangefinder aesthetic. Whether Nikon's rumored plans for the ZS will come to fruition remains to be seen. But the idea of adopting a contemporary Nikon rangefinder like the ZS is certainly intriguing. It would depend on how well it embodies the spirit of its historical predecessors while delivering the performance expected from modern technology. For photography enthusiasts craving a blast from the past, the rumor mill has been buzzing with whispers of Canon's possibly making retro cameras. While Canon has been tight-lipped about the concrete details, 
Stay tuned as we focus on the latest leaks and what we've gathered so far. If the rumors hold true, we could be treated to a brand new fixed lens APS-C camera, donning a vintage inspired design. Sources hint at an active, even if just exploratory development phase underway at Canon, potentially drawing inspiration from iconic models like the renowned Canonet QL17 rangefinder. Imagine the thrill of wielding a digital incarnation of a classic merging timeless aesthetics with modern technological marvels. Now, why would a powerhouse like Canon venture into this niche market? Well, the answer might lie in the skyrocketing popularity of retro-styled cameras among younger demographics. Fujifilm's X106, a standout in this realm, has sent shockwaves through the industry with its meteoric rise to mainstream fame, courtesy of a TikTok frenzy. Nikon, too, has dipped its toes into these nostalgic waters with its ZF and ZFC mirrorless offerings. Canon usually focuses on appealing to a wide range of customers, but the current trend of retro-style cameras is hard to resist. They understand that many people love the classic designs of their old popular models. Imagine having a modern version of the iconic Canonet. That would be incredibly cool, right? It's no wonder people are excited about the idea of owning a digital version of a beloved classic camera. Now you might be wondering, but isn't this just a niche market? Well, the numbers beg to differ. Premium compact cameras like the Leica Q3 and Ricoh GR3 are super popular because they take awesome photos better than smartphones. Everyone's crazy about the Fujifilm X106 too. If you're into photography, these cameras could be a great way to make some money. A full-frame, fixed-lens camera from Canon would be ideal, but the high costs may not fit their goals of dominating the mirrorless market. So they might go for a cool APS-C retro compact instead. This could be a great spot, drawing in Canon RF mount users who want a trendy, one-of-a-kind camera buddy for their collection. It's all about finding that perfect balance between cost and style, of course, some skeptics might scoff at the idea of a retro camera design. For people who love old-fashioned styles and history, it's super cool that Canon might put its modern technology into a retro design. This means young photographers get a new choice, and older ones can enjoy the memories of the past. It's a great mix of new and old for everyone who loves photography. All right, let's talk about the big question. Canon hasn't officially confirmed anything yet. They're keeping quiet, but remember how they've talked about hearing customers out on how the EOS cameras look and work? Maybe, just maybe, this hints at a cool retro mirrorless camera coming our way. Exciting, right? And remember, Canon recently brought back the iconic PowerShot name with the V10 vlogging camera. They're totally up for reviving old favorites. So, how cool would it be if they made a retro compact camera next? Imagine all that nostalgia coming back in style. Canon's got some exciting tricks up their sleeve. While details remain shrouded in mystery, the mere possibility of Canon joining the retro camera fray has our hearts racing with anticipation. Imagine the joy of holding a sleek vintage-inspired shooter adorned with cutting-edge capabilities. The fusion of past and present could ignite a newfound passion for photography, reigniting the excitement of capturing unforgettable moments with a camera that's equal parts timeless and innovative. So as we eagerly await any official word from Canon, let's revel in the speculation as we collectively hope that these whispers ring true. In a world where fancy tech usually steals the show from handcrafted items, the idea of a classic Canon camera making a comeback is like a sweet nod to the good old days. The rumor mill is buzzing with excitement about the highly anticipated Canon R5 Mark II. If the latest leaks and whispers turn out to be true, this camera could be an absolute game changer for content creators like us. From what we've gathered, the R5 Mark II seems poised to take the beloved original R5 and push it to new heights in terms of performance and capabilities. Let's dive in and unpack all the juicy details that have been spilling out about this upcoming powerhouse. From the snippets of information we've gathered, it seems Canon is gearing up to drop this newcomer sooner than we thought. 
The sources indicated the R5 Mark II could be announced as early as the end of April or in May of 2024, with shipping expected to kick off in the June and July timeframe. If the rumors hold true, this new iteration is shaping up to be a real powerhouse. We've heard whispers of some impressive specs that could give the original R5 a serious run for its money. For starters, the word on the street is that the R5 Mark II will pack a beefy 45-megapixel BSI CMOS image sensor. And get this, it's said to feature a stacked design, which could unlock all sorts of performance upgrades. Diving a bit deeper, the new DSLR is also rumored to rock a 3.2-inch OLED articulating display, giving you the flexibility to frame up those perfect shots from any angle. And the good news keeps on coming. Apparently, Canon has decided to ditch the mechanical shutter this time around, opting instead for an all-electronic solution. Now, you might be wondering how that electronic shutter will affect the camera's capabilities. Well, if the chatter is accurate, the R5 Mark II will be able to blaze through shots at up to 60 frames per second. That's a serious boost in burst shooting performance compared to the original R5's 20 frames per second. But wait, there's more. Rumor has it the new processor under the hood, let's call it the Digic X Plus for now, will unlock some seriously advanced autofocus capabilities. Apparently, Canon has been cooking up some next-level AI-powered autofocus features that could give this camera superhuman subject tracking abilities. Of course, no modern Canon camera would be complete without robust video jobs. And it seems the R5 Mark II is poised to deliver in a big way. We're talking 8K raw video capture, along with the ability to shoot 4K footage at up to 120 frames per second. Plus, you'll reportedly have access to Canon Log 1, 2, and 3 profiles for maximum post-processing flexibility. Now, we know a lot of you out there have been longing for an R5 successor that can really go the distance without overheating. Well, if the rumors hold true, Canon may have addressed that pain point as well. Word on the street is that the R5 Mark II will forego the mechanical shutter in favor of a fully electronic solution, which could help keep things running cool and steady, even during those marathon video sessions. Of course, we'll have to wait and see how all these rumored specs translate to real-world performance. But if Canon can pull it off, the R5 Mark II could be a game-changer for photographers and videographers alike. Just imagine the creative possibilities with that powerful 45 megapixel sensor, lightning fast burst shooting, and robust 8K video capabilities all packed into a compact mirrorless body. Now we know a lot of you out there have been eagerly awaiting news on the R5 Mark II, and it seems the rumor mill has been a bit quiet lately, which is pretty standard operating procedure for Canon ahead of a major product announcement. But if the chatter we've heard is any indication, it won't be long before the veil is lifted and we get the full scoop on this highly anticipated camera. In the meantime, we'll be keeping a close eye on the situation, scouring the internet for any additional leaks or insights. And you can bet we'll be among the first to share the latest updates as soon as they become available. Rumor mills are buzzing with excitement as Canon gears up for its next big release. Speculation is rife that the highly anticipated Canon EOS R7 Mark II mirrorless camera might just be around the corner. Get ready to unravel the tantalizing details that could redefine your photography experience. Before we get into the Mark II, let's remember what made the EOS R7 such a hit. It's a 32.5 megapixel APS-C mirrorless camera that sits comfortably in the enthusiast photographer market. It's been praised for its dual-pixel CMOS Autofocus 2 system and impressive 15 FPS burst shooting speeds. Plus, it's been a favorite among wildlife photographers thanks to its crop factor that amplifies the effective focal length of full-frame lenses. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II is shaping up to be a photographer's dream. With the original R7's success, the Mark II is expected to push the envelope further we're talking about a potential increase in sensor resolution, allowing for even more detailed images and larger prints without losing quality. Imagine having the power to capture the intricate patterns of a butterfly's wings or the subtle textures of a distant landscape, all with the same camera. But it's not just about the megapixels. The Mark II might come with a faster burst shooting speed, making it a powerhouse for action and sports photography. 
Picture yourself on the sidelines of a soccer game, capturing every thrilling moment without missing a beat. And let's not forget the buffer size. A larger buffer means you can shoot longer sequences at high speeds. Perfect for those unexpected wildlife encounters where every second counts. The hype is real because the R7 Mark II isn't just another camera. It's a symbol of innovation and the future of photography. It represents a leap forward in technology, combining the best features of its predecessors with new advancements that could redefine what we expect from a camera. Photographers are excited because the R7 Mark II promises to deliver not just in terms of hardware, but also in user experience. It's the anticipation of holding a camera that feels like an extension of your vision, one that responds intuitively to your every command and brings your creative visions to life with unprecedented ease and clarity. Now we know what you're thinking. Didn't the original R7 just hit the shelves in 2022? You'd be right, which is why these murmurs of a successor so soon have raised quite a few eyebrows. But hold on a minute. Canon hasn't been shy about shaking things up in the mirrorless world, especially when they've got something truly game-changing up their sleeves. Remember how the EOS R6 Mark II followed hot on the heels of its predecessor, landing just two years later? If the whispers are to be believed, the R7 Mark II could be cut from the same cloth. As we eagerly await the official announcement, the wish list for the R7 Mark II grows. Photographers are hoping for a camera that can handle the demands of modern photography. A camera that's robust, reliable, and ready for anything. On the wish list, we are hoping for ergonomic improvements like a small extension for the little finger and a place to attach a hand strap for better grip and comfort during long shoots. There's also a call for a stacked sensor, which could offer faster readout speeds and better overall performance, especially in low light situations. And then there's the battery life. Every photographer knows the frustration of a dying battery at the worst possible moment. A longer lasting battery would be a game changer, allowing photographers to focus on their art without the constant worry of power running out. Overall, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II represents more than just an upgrade. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in photography. Whether you're a seasoned pro or an enthusiastic hobbyist, the potential of a new camera on the horizon is always something to get excited about. So let's keep our fingers crossed and our eyes peeled for any official announcements from Canon. The future of photography is just around the corner, and it looks promising. The photography community is buzzing with anticipation for the Fujifilm X Pro, a camera that's been the talk of the town, stirring up conversations both in person and across digital platforms. Everyone is eager to see if it lives up to its reputation as a game changer in the APS-C mirrorless segment, or if it's just the product of rampant speculation. Join me as we explore the rumors and potential that the X-Pro4 holds, examining what it might bring to the table in terms of specs, features, and its anticipated arrival. As we kicked off the year, whispers began to circulate about the potential launch of the Fujifilm X-Pro4 within the calendar year. This new model is rumored to introduce a host of enhancements, aiming to please photographers who appreciate the hands-on feel and classic rangefinder aesthetic of the X-Pro lineage. The X-Pro series, celebrated for its portability and minimalist design, has become a favorite among urban photographers and globetrotters. The X-Pro3, in particular, has been lauded for its distinctive approach to photography and superior image quality, setting the stage for the next model that's rumored to boast the latest in sensor and processor technology. The X-Pro4 remains shrouded in mystery, with photographers drawn to a list of speculated features that seem almost too good to be true. Talk of a 40 megapixel X-Trans 5 BSI sensor coupled with the new X-Processor 5 and set unparalleled image quality. Prospect of in-body image stabilization, or IBIS, is also generating excitement, potentially transforming low-light photography and enabling high-quality 4K video recording at 60 FPS with 10-bit depth. In addition, there's talk that the X-Pro4 will inherit an updated user interface and autofocus system similar to Fujifilm's latest X-T5, 
making it an attractive upgrade for users of previous X Pro models. While we're still in the dark about the exact release date and pricing, the rumor mill suggests we might see a late 2024 debut with a price tag to match its premium offerings. While we wait for the official confirmation, the X Pro 4 is shaping up to be a formidable contender in the APS-C mirrorless market, with Fujifilm aficionados waiting with bated breath for its reveal. It's an enigma wrapped in hushed tones, its full potential yet to be disclosed. Whether it makes its debut this year or next, one thing is for sure, the level of excitement is only increasing. Will it be the revolutionary tool photographers have been dreaming of? Or will it simply elevate the existing standards of excellence? The answer lies in the future, with Fujifilm holding the key. But one thing is undeniable. The X-Pro4 has sparked our collective imaginations, a testament to the magic and mystery that photography still holds. So that's all about some of the upcoming cameras we might see this year. Do let us know what you think about this. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.